Rachel. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. All right, once again, to join the growing number of Nunavut who are calling for the end of the disruptive, disruptive practice of seasonal time change. Mr. Speaker, on Tuesday of last week, the Akhaluit City Council voted unanimously to adopt a motion calling on members of the Legislative Assembly to, and I quote, join the call to end the participation in daylight savings time. Uh, Mr. Speaker, this is an issue that I've raised in this House on a number of occasions, and I'm extremely pleased that our community's leaders at City Council have joined the campaign to bring Nunavut into the 21st century. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to pay special tribute to Councillor Smith for moving the motion and Councillor Tilly for seconding the motion. And I want to express my appreciation to all of the other members of City Council who unanimously supported the motion. Mr. Speaker, when I last raised the issue in our winter sitting, the government had taken no position on whether or not to do away with the archaic practice of changing the clock twice a year. At that time, I had identified that a number of Canadian provinces and territories have already taken action and passed legislation to end seasonal time changes. It is my position that Nunavut should not be left behind and fall out of step with the rest of the country. As I've previously pointed out, I recognize and understand that careful consideration and consultation needs to take place. And I encourage the government of Nunavut to begin the necessary steps required. Mr. Speaker, I will continue to call uh, to support the end uh, of uh, seasonal time change. And uh, at the appropriate time, I will have questions to the new Minister of Justice on this specific matter. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Member statements. 